So I'm uploading um, the uh, latest tidbit. And it kind of reminded me of, um, and actually I've been wanting to do this video since, I'd say Saturday night. Um, or actually Sunday, because it happened Saturday night. And, um, you know, just the idea of coming to the end of, of, of your own strength. And I had something, um, happen Saturday night, uh, physically to me that I believe the Lord used to help me illustrate the, um, coming just that to illustrate the coming to the end of yourself, um, to realize that you are ruined and you can do nothing. And, um, it's all Christ. Okay. And I guess in this situation, um, my husband would be the representation of Christ. Okay. So hopefully I can explain this correctly. Uh, and, um, you'll see where, where I'm going here. Um, and that it, uh, helps somebody, you know, and, and, and blesses you and realize that, you know, Christ is our everything. Okay. Um, and that we just need to rest in him. So Saturday night, um, I, I'm one of, along with many, but one of my, um, infirmities is, uh, I'm, I'm diabetic. Okay. And I think that I got too much insulin and, um, uh, my body produced too much insulin that night. And I went to get up to go to bed and all of a sudden I couldn't stand. I couldn't do anything um, because I was so uh, dizzy and I felt like I was going to pass out. And I, I told James, I said, I said, babe, you're going to have to help. You're going to have to help me to, uh, uh, to our room. And of course, you know, he came over and as he was helping me just stand up, it was like, I just like, I completely collapsed. I mean, it was like, I was practically, um, incoherent and, um, yet miraculously still on my feet. <laughs> um, oh, glory to God, because he couldn't carry me to, uh, to the bedroom because, uh, he just had an injury. Uh, he fell off, a uh, one of, fell off his truck. He's a, he's a truck driver. Like I used to be, and he fell off his truck. And, um, so, you know, he was, um, a little sore himself. So, Thank God I was able to, or he, you know, I was able to still stand. And so anyway, uh, and, and I'm going on what he kind of told, told me because again, I was kind of out of it and I was just so, um, uh, so dizzy. And so, um, just, I, I couldn't function. I couldn't do anything. Um, I was slow on my words and, uh, um, there might've been a possibility that I might've had another, uh, mini stroke, which I've had many. So, um, anyway, uh, I finally, I, I, we, he said as he was, we were walking, he had to like literally hold me up and walk to the bedroom. And all I remember is I didn't wake up till like noon the next day. Okay. So he was my everything. Okay. He was my feet. He was my sight. 
He was, uh, he was just my everything. He had to be my everything, okay, in order to get me into uh, the bed to rest. <laughs> I think some of you have seen where I'm going here. But let's do the opposite. Let's say that, and I am, I will admit, and this took a long time for me to, uh, to learn and to um, accept um, when it came to realizing that I can no longer uh, do some things on my own and that I do need help. And I was always, I always grew up with um, the saying, and I know a lot of people have heard it, that God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> um, you know, um, you're only blessed when you're in God's will or, uh, you know, be careful or he'll, you know, basically like out of darkness, it's crap. <laughs> you know, be careful. You, you do as well, or he's going to, you know, just kind of drop you all that crap. Okay. So let's say that I was a legalist and, um, which I used to be. And I decided that, Nope. It, it once okay. Well, let me start it over. Let me say that if I had the situation happen, okay, I gotta tell myself, suck it up, just get up. You can do it, and just keep trying to push me, push myself, push my flesh. You know. Um, my dad always just say, suck it up, Buttercup, and uh. <laughs> Say my husband, James, offered to help me and I said, no, I can do it on my own. I got this. I, you know, it's, I, I've, I completely know what I need to do. I've had it happen before. So I know how to get out of this situation. Okay. So I get up and, uh, you know, I'll say the stubborn, stubborn Sarah. Severance Sarah gets up and falls right back down. Once again, James offers to help me. I say no. And I try again. And this goes on and on and on. Finally, I'm to the point where I'm just pissed off. Because I'm like so weak that I can't, I can't function. But I'm so stupid stubborn that I will not listen and um, I won't take any help from anybody or I won't, uh, you know, even allow any kind of, um, you know, it's, it's all on me. Okay. Responsibility is mine. So I finally make it to my feet, say, say, I finally make it to my feet. And I take one or two steps and I go down again. And once again, <laughs> once again, James helps, wants to help me up. This time, I'm like, okay, just get me to my feet and I can do the rest. Okay. And he's looking at me going, no, you can't. You're done. But I'm not listening again. Okay. So I continue to try to do it in my own strength. And I end up following, falling all the way through. And then I finally get myself up on that bed and I Finally, get myself to rest. Rest, excuse me. <laughs> Along the way, 
I had a lot of bumps and bruises and everything because I wouldn't allow anybody to help me. And I definitely would not allow um, my husband to help me because I had to prove to him that I could do this. And that I am not an invalid. And that I am not, um, you know, I, I'm still useless. Or, I mean, excuse me, I'm still worthless. No, <laughs> I, I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> um, I'm still worth something. And I can prove it. And by golly, I'm going to do that. Okay. So you kind of see where I'm going here. This is a lot of what legalists and so-called grace uh, believers are doing. They're trying to do it in their own strength. Instead of coming to the end of themselves like we're seeing in, um, you know, Romans 7, um, in the tidbits, um, and seeing that we could never do it in the first place, (laughs) you know, um, we were ruined. We were, we didn't even take the test because it was an automatic, uh, um, It was rigged, (laughs) okay? It was rigged and everybody was was rigged to fail, basically. And Christ was the only one that could get an A on the test. And praise God for that. Because when you finally do come to the end of your own strength and you see that you are crucified with Christ and you see that... You have been set free from the law of sin and from the law of, um, you know, what I mean by set free from the law of sin, I'm talking about like the, um, how do I say this? You can no longer um, be hurt by the enemy as far as... um, you know, losing, you know, you can't lose your salvation. Um, Christ is your answer. Okay. Him spilling his blood on the cross and all the accomplishment that he made, uh, or that he did for us is the answer to sin because it is blotted out the handwriting of ordinances and everything. And that's not to say, you know, again, we're in these simple fleshly bodies still and we're still going to screw up and everything. But that's not what, what, what the Lord is focusing on. And I think a lot of um, people put a, a, a too much of an emphasis on sin and not enough on who Christ is in us, you know. He is our hope of glory. He is our everything. He is our life. He is our reward. He is our sanctification, our, you know, renewing of the mind. He is everything. Every little aspect of this, and don't take this the wrong way, but pathetic life, you know, it's training for something so much better. But yet it's not about sin it's about knowing who christ is gaining more knowledge of him and just enjoying him i mean you know he he is he is our rest he is our peace and that's what he wants for us he doesn't want us to be in constant uh you know battle not only with each other but with you know Others that don't even have basically like, um, you know, casting your pearls before swine type of thing. Um, let it go. It's not, it's, it's not important. 
It really isn't. You know, um, the Lord knows who are his. And he is going to let those who are his go through um, things in order to bring them more understanding of Christ himself. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Tidbit today kind of makes a little bit more sense about that. Um, And David explains it perfectly through his experience as well. And I can, I can relate to that too. Um, But I know I'm kind of getting off, off track as far as a little bit. um, Just to, the, the illustration is just the physical illustration of being completely spent and allowing uh, the help that you know you need because you know you're ruined and you know you can't do it and you need somebody to guide you. And that somebody is Christ. Christ is a person. Grace is a person. Um, You know, I keep saying it all the time until you understand your your baptism into Christ, being crucified with Christ, and and I'm not talking about water baptism because I mean yes, that is a symbol of um, uh, the old man going down and the new man coming up through Christ alone recognizing it but it's not a requirement okay it's not a requirement for salvation and it is um uh it's 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 a like i said it's it's just a, a reckoning of of what that means but the minute you believe um you are baptized into christ and or in you know into the body of Christ and and you are baptized uh, or you are crucified with Christ and and uh, dead and buried in the tomb and the newness of life it's not how much work I can do now no that's religious crappy flesh okay that's a, that's an sob that's a self over puffed up Balaamite self righteous over puffed up Balaamite okay. Uh, uh, working for a wage. No. It's seeing your identity in Christ and how he is your new life. And, you know, to live as Christ and, you know, to die is gain. And the dying part is the flesh. When the more our flesh dies, the more we gain Christ. And it's all through experience, you know, just in life in general. And he, you know, um, you know, disciplines us. And again, it's not for our, 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 uh, to harm us or anything. No, it's for our good it's to bring us closer to him to gain more of him it is not to punish us and that's what i was taught growing up you know if you're under god's discipline or something you know whether it was physical or or um you know kind of like you know youtube jail so to speak you know <laughs> um it no is people have such a skewed view of Christ and when the veil comes down and your eyes are truly your spiritual eyes are truly opened to how awesome and good and loving and patient and just all around awesome I I already said that one Um, just how great God is um it's a joy it's 
it's a constant joy in your life that you can simply just uh, meditate on. You know, just throughout the day. And he is, like I said, he is our everything. And I kind of lost my train of thought now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Gus is so good. He is just really, really good. And that, that, that illustration, I think, was uh, Holy Spirit inspired to speak on coming to the end of ourselves and our, our, our especially religious flesh. And just know you don't have to know everything when it comes to God's word. The gospel is what is the most important thing. From there, it's just cherries on a gigantic ice cream soda or sundae, excuse me. You know, it's just the cherry on the uh, on on the um on the Sunday, not Sunday, Sunday, but you know what I mean. Um, the dessert, everything is just even uh, gets better and better because you start uh, standing in confidence in Christ alone, and not in your own understanding. And if you don't understand something, you know, don't get frustrated. Just pray about it. And Holy Spirit will show you. It may not happen today, tomorrow, month from now. It may happen a year. Um, I've had that happen before where I've prayed something a year and he's answered uh, a year later. Um, <laughs> that's actually how, uh, uh, how he led me to, um, uh, David's channel was, I, I, I prayed to learn more of him and find truth. And, uh, year later, he reminded me when I found him on YouTube. That was about three or four years ago. Um, I think it was. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> um, anyway, I know I'm kind of jibber-jabbering again and kind of going off and everything, but I just hope that illustration kind of g gives you an idea of um, or maybe a better, un better, or better understanding of letting go of the desire to want to do everything in our flesh and... Um, rest in Christ and um, I'm definitely not a patient person um, I'm old and and um, you know just crotchety sometimes <laughs> or as you know froggy um, and when I I remember when I would read the Bible and I wouldn't understand something um <laughs> I would get so frustrated and I would get so down on myself and I could just completely just, ah, uh, it was horrible because I'm like, everybody gets this. Why can't I, Lord? Why? You know, am I that stupid? You know, and I would just beat myself up to a pulp. And of course the enemy just, you know, had a field day with me. And then, um, you know, once I started understanding who I was in Christ and reading it, not in dead letter form, but in, uh, uh what's the word? Um, royalty, um, you know, how he... It, the, the beautiful story of, of redemption all throughout the Bible and how everything is, you know, for our good to bring us closer to him, you know, those riches that that he has, has promised us. 
in him. Okay. Um, I started realizing that, or I should say Holy Spirit started uh, showing me that I don't have to know everything. I don't have to um, be like everybody else. I am who I am. God made every single one of us individually. Um, and don't let this go to your head, but special, you know, meaning that, you know, you're special to him. Um, that he's working through each and every one of us individually to say, reach people that others cannot. Um, I know for me, um, I've learned through the years that even though I, and I, and I don't ever want my infirmities to define me, he is using them to reach other people. It's not me. I'm just sharing what he has done for me as far as comfort and, and just the, the, the joy he has brought me through, um, so many tribulations or, or so many trials and everything in my life that, um, you know, I, I boast in them. I boast in, 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 in the fact that I was, you know, a stupid legalist and the Lord brought me out of it and all glory to God. Everything that we go through is never in vain. Even our attacks from the enemy, he can still use all of that. Not only for our good to, you know, um, again, to gain more of Christ, but to also use to, um, to bless the body, you know, the body of Christ. Um, and again, it's not us, you know, in our flesh doing it. It's, it's him. And it's through, you know, he, he is the, the strength, our joy, his joy is our strength. And through that strength that he gives us, which is all him, anyway and we just rest in it and rest in confidence in it um he is reaching those in the body that need to hear that that have never been say you know never knew what rest was i never knew what rest was um there's so, there's so much that i that that i didn't know anything about for uh, most of my life growing up. It wasn't until I got into my 30s and 40s that things started coming together of, you know, really understanding what free grace was. I knew what grace was, but I didn't quite understand um, the uh, dynamics of it. Um, now I'm, uh, and then again, this is not me boasting. This is Christ, uh, being my joy to say with confidence that, um, he is my grace. He is, he is grace in my life and in all of our lives that have you know, trusted in him alone in the, uh, through the gospel. Um, you know, he, he is that saving faith and he is the person in us that gives us the hope that we cling to and that we, um, desperately need, you know, 
So I don't know if that was um, very um, comforting to anybody. I hope it was because it it I felt like it was Holy Spirit inspired um, when I uh, when I kind of thought about it the next day, um, and I was exhausted because it put a strain on on my body and unfortunately my body is allergic to stress and so it does not react very well and it takes a really long time to get back to um you know um normal or what is considered normal now <laughs> but anyway oh, i got the hiccups okay um talk to you later